One of the things that the IFD540 does very well is entering and flight plans. So right now, we're at the Bedford Airport. We're going to fly up to Nashua. If I type in KA, that should give us Nashua. Notice Geofill fills that in, so that makes it pretty easy. So I have that loaded in. Now I want to go ahead and enter an approach. If I press the procedure button here on it, here's all the approaches that I can do into Nashua. Notice that it also gives me a preview of what these approaches look like as I scroll through them. Once I've selected the one I want, let's do the LPV, I select the approach, then it asks me what transition I want to use, and some of that's determined that way. We'll do my gear's initial approach fix. Now you can see the flight plan is loaded. I've loaded my whole flight plan, um, and it's not activated yet, so you'll see a little bit of information there. But I can go in and look at, here's all the information for the approach loaded in so I can see it. I can also press on the chart page, and not only will it show me the chart, uh, it'll show my flight plan flying over the chart um, and give me information about how I'm going to intercept and fly the approach from there. Um, these are also geo-referenced, so it'll show your plane flying over it with your flight plan over it. Uh, and you can also go through the different views to see what the views look like as you're loading it. Uh, this is the one I like. Uh, one cool feature with pinch to zoom is if you want to see some information because it's not quite big enough, you can pinch in zoom and then zoom out real quickly just like you would do on a phone uh, where pinch to zoom is a real nice feature to pick that up or if there's an altitude you wanted to pick up, you could go in and take a quick look at it and then zoom back out very quickly.